Good morning. I am Andrew Whaley. I will send you another comforter, Jesus says to his disciples in this 14th chapter of John, his farewell address to his disciples in the night before he is crucified. You heard Thomas Tallis's rendition of this passage from John's gospel. Jesus says he'll send another comforter, and then later he says, he says to those disciples, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye also shall live. I use the King James Version of that passage because of the way it translates that word comfort. If you look in other translations of John 14, the word orphaned is used instead. I will not leave you orphaned. It's interesting to think about the contrast, right, between being orphaned and being comfortless. When we think about comfort, um, we don't associate it with abandonment or isolation all the time, do we? I mean, we talk about wanting to eat comfort foods, foods high in trans fats and carbohydrates that release certain chemicals in the brain that help us to feel good for a minute. We, we think about a new mattress, a, a comfort-inducing uh, mattress, or that we're going to get some comfort insoles in our shoes that make us feel better in our bodies, help us rest better at night. But when Jesus talks about being comfortless and needing a comforter, he's not talking about something you pull over yourself in your bed at night. He's talking about a life where you feel like you've been totally abandoned isolated, orphaned, as though one who has no parent, no home, no safe refuge in the world. But he tells his disciples, I will give you comfort. We have a confession in our book of confessions of Presbyterians. Those are statements of belief written by the church throughout the ages. The banner for it is behind me over here. Um, it's the Heidelberg Catechism of 1563. This banner is symbolic of that uh, document. It was written in the early days after the Protestant Reformation in Germany, in Heidelberg, Germany. The first question and answer of that catechism talks about comfort. It says, what is your only comfort in life and in death? That I am not my own, but belong body and soul in life and in death to my faithful Savior, Jesus Christ. He has fully paid for all my sins with his precious blood and has set me free from the tyranny of the devil. He also watches over me in such a way that not a hair can fall from my head without the will of my Father in heaven. In fact, all things must work together for my salvation. Because I belong to him, Christ, by his Holy Spirit, assures me of eternal life and makes me wholeheartedly willing and ready from now on to live for him. We've been experiencing some discomfort over these last months, to say the least. Perhaps in the way that Jesus talks about it, not just the comfort of an insole in our shoes or eating some fried chicken. The comfortless life that is orphaned alone, abandoned, isolated, unable to see grandparents or grandchildren or travel for the holidays or gather with friends, this isolation, this loneliness, this idea that I belong to no one and no one belongs to me. And guess what? That's not how we want to ultimately live. As Christian people, though, we fall back in this season on the scriptures that we've heard read over and over again on confessions of faith that we've been affirming for some 500 years on ritual practice of worship and prayer and sacrament over and over again in these ways we are told that we are not less left comfortless there is a comforter our comfort in life and in death is that we belong body and soul not to ourselves but to our faithful savior jesus christ we have a comfort 
Even in this time of isolation, even in this time of distance, even in these challenging moments, we fall back on the rhythms and the patterns of our life. We belong to God. Nothing separates us. So friends, keep the faith.